I want to get a quick video out to go over the new dynamic home point that's been added to the Mavic Pro as well as the Spark. And uh, I apologize, I had my 3D printer going in the background, so I hope that the audio is still pretty good. Uh, it's on a six hour print and I really don't want to interrupt it. I do want to get this video out there so people know what's going on. But as I mentioned, DJI has released a new uh, mode or new home point uh, mode into the uh, Mavic Pro as well as the Spark. Uh, it's dynamic home point. So basically uh, the home point is set when you take off and when you do a smart or other type of return to home point the Mavic will automatically fly back to the point that you took off. Uh, so it basically returns to home and the home point is wherever you launched the drone from. So I've always said this, uh, in active track especially, this can really get you into a lot of trouble. Uh, if you take off from a particular point and you use active track to follow you, let's say you're in a vehicle, on a bike, running, or even walking, uh, especially if you're in some type of faster transportation, uh, all the way down to maybe running up to a vehicle, motorcycle, something of that nature, skateboard even, you could end up a half a mile, a mile away from your home point, from your takeoff point. If you lose the connection at that particular point, that Phantom, or excuse me, that Mavic or the uh, Spark is going to, even the Phantoms, uh, are going to return all the way back to the home point. That could be a mile away, could be two miles away, could be three miles or more away. It's not going to make it. It's going to get you into a lot of trouble. And a lot of people don't realize that and they leave the home point as they normally do set to their takeoff point. Uh, my suggestion to DJI has always been to possibly at least pop up a warning when you switch into active mode letting you know that you may want to change your return to home as hover. And that's really the safest way to run active mode, especially. Uh, that way, if you lose signal, the drone will just hover right there. So it'll get a pop-up message to let you know that you've lost the signal to the drone, and the drone will stop right where it is. It's been following you, it's been tracking you, so it's relatively in close proximity to you. Uh, they haven't done that. Uh, what they seem to have done in the, instead is to add, the, add this dynamic uh, home point, which we had on the older Phantoms, but it operates a little bit differently now. In my opinion, it kind of is a little bit pointless. Uh, what happens is, is as the Mavic or the Spark travels every 15 meters, it'll update its home point to that particular area. So that way, if it loses signal, it's going to go back a maximum of 15 meters and then land at that particular point. Uh, that's going to be true of when it's in active track mode as well as gesture mode. So those are the two modes uh, that dynamic home point will work in. Uh, I do really kind of see it as pointless because it really comes out to be the same thing as hover. About the only difference is, is hover is going to hover until it gets to critical battery strength, which is usually 10%, and then it'll land. I think if nothing else, hover is actually probably a little safer because landing at an unknown point is inherently risky. You, the drone is always already where it is when it's hovering, so you don't have much of an issue there. You have a chance to get closer to the drone, get pointed at the drone, get reception of that drone, and take control over it uh, again and land it if that's what you need to do. So uh, just my personal opinion, I don't see much point in adding the dynamic mode. Maybe it's more appropriate for gesture mode in some way. I really think that if anything else, maybe it's more appropriate for the Spark as opposed to the Mavic Pro. I kind of doubt it. Uh, maybe if you're doing a hand gesture, I can't think of really a whole lot of reasons. If you can think of something, please leave that information in the comments below so people can take a look at it. I'd love to know if you can come up with any good ideas on how dynamic mode can really be used. 
uh, in a sensible way, either in jester or after tra in uh, active track mode. So again, I wanted to get this quick video out to kind of go over that information so you were aware of it. Uh, if you don't take anything else away from this, one thing that I would take away is that if you're in active track mode, I highly recommend that you change return to home to hover uh, when you lose this signal. So uh, if you like the channel, please feel free to uh, subscribe. And again, if you have any comments, want to leave any questions or any information, please do so in the comments below. Thank you.